I think I know where we're going here. And we're, we're, we're talking about Lee Morgan. <laughs> at the Lighthouse. Morgan, I have my old copy here, which is only two discs. Are you ready? I'm putting out a big special. This is the, this is the preview, the world preview of the Lee Morgan, the complete live at this the Lighthouse. Is, this is it. it. Glory. I, I was sent this last week. Picture. <laughs> This is beautiful. This, this is a dream realized. This box set. Live at the Lighthouse, for me, first of all, I've got the two LP set like you, but for me, it was the three CD set was the first one that I listened to back in 1996. It was produced by my co-producer on the complete Live at the Lighthouse, David Weiss, who is a trumpeter and the leader of the Cookers uh, and his own groups as well. Um, but I, I remember... For the longest time, Dave and I, David and I have been friends. And like a little kid going to bed at night, mommy, daddy, tell me a story. Tell me again about the Lee Morgan Lighthouse experience, how you went to L.A. and listened to all the tapes. Is it really true, David? There's more. And there's over four hours of material here that's never been issued before. Um, and not just material, but glorious recordings. This was not a money grab. This was about something that was like, we had to evaluate very, very closely. Do we put this out? Is it important music? Should it be released? Because you have to protect the artist's legacies. Um, you have to really evaluate all these things that come into play here before you really determine if you're gonna head down the road and put out a release like this. But we first started I think when I first came into Blue Note in 2018, it was one of the first projects that I knew about that I, that I wanted to talk to Blue Note about. It was something that I felt could be done. Um, and talking with David, it was very clear from our conversations. He had evaluated all of the music. He knew there was great music that was still left. And, um, you know, they put out a three CD set in 96, choosing one of each of the tunes. But... These gentlemen, and I'm talking about Lee Morgan, Benny Maupin, Harold Mayburn, Jimmy Merritt, and Mickey Roker, they were on the end of a, a, a two-week run uh, at Hermosa Beach at the Lighthouse for Howard Rumsey. And uh, Francis Wolf came in and they recorded four sets of music, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to close out what had been this two week run. And, and I have to tell you, we have to talk about working bands, bands that were hitting at night after night. Miles and Coltrane had working bands that were gigging constantly. And when you have that element, there is just something about the, the interplay, the way that the musicians read each other, they know each other up on that bandstand and they have it down. These guys were like red hot coals at this point. They had really heated up so much. And um, it's important for a lot of reasons, this music, man, it is just burning. It is inspiring. You get a chance to go back. It's got that time machine element. Do you wanna dial up and sit through the first set on Friday night? Maybe you wanna to go to the second or third set on Saturday. Hey, maybe you wanna relive what it was like on that last night on Sunday, or you wanna go through it straight through, or you wanna cherry pick. There's a lot of ways of listening, but we had a great fortune of having this music available in a way that allowed us to lay it out the way that it happened chronologically set by set, and it's just, it is, I've said this before, it is nothing short of a dream for me and this producer because live at the lighthouse, you know, we can talk about, we can talk about search for the new land. We can talk about, you know, city lights and candy and, and his, and we decide why and all these different gamuts, all these different sides and different things that he did. But live at the lighthouse was what, this was musically where Lee Morgan was at this time, but he was on the rebound from some personal tragedy and including getting his chops back. These guys were Olympians. These guys were the greatest. This is a, a human interest story. Uh, this is about, this is, you know, Lee Morgan to me is like the champ. 
and sadly it wasn't the first time he had, had to come back but he was so dedicated to his art he is a was a professional and he took what he was doing so serious and you hear that fire and this was this was lee morgan and his men man coming in and laying it down and making some of the most in, inspirational music it, it's um, i'm at a loss for words to really describe it but working on it for me was really an incredible experience for three years now. You know, we were going to release it a year ago, but then COVID happened. That would have been, the, you know, the 50th anniversary um, from when it was recorded. But, um, you know, it was released, I guess, 50 years ago this last March. So we're kind of like within that same window. But we spared no expense. We really pushed the envelope. I wanted us to have all these elements. And I want to... I'm going to try to move my camera here a little bit. I want people to see this. This box has so much thoughtfulness that went into it in terms of the art design. I want to thank Todd Galapo and Tori Davis at Meat and Potatoes that worked with us. Um, and Zach Shelby Cisco, my associate producer on this project, and David, of course, and Don and, and was and Harry Weinger. I mean, Don was and Harry Weinger were the guys that said, let's do this. Don was, he's a hero to me for this project alone, for allowing this to happen. This needed, I wanted this to happen so badly and, and, and he agreed. But we have basically taken out of this box. We had assets. Photos, well, yeah. you, know the, you, know, you know the cover photo, you know the right. back photo. That's by a guy named Joel Franklin. And we don't know a lot about him. He may have been a stringer photographer but he took a whole bunch of pictures of lee morgan around this time and there's going to be this major revelation for so many of the fans it's like you're going to go through this box set and you're going to see images that are connected with things that you've already seen that you haven't seen before and it's going to be i'm telling you man gotta be careful those of you who have heart conditions out there please be very careful look listen to your doctor first is there a release? You got to sign a release before you buy this. No, but, but, but in all seriousness, there's so much love that went into it. So you've been working on this for years. I had no idea that we've been working been on this for about on this thing for a long time. Three years. Surprised us. And, and yeah, amazing. Oh, so you've got uh, like uh, gate folds inside the box. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. There, there are, so are there six gate folds inside the box. Yes, there's six, six and twelve inside. records, guys. Did you know this is twelve records? You've never seen some of these pictures before, yeah. man. Yeah. No. Hanging out in beautiful Hermosa in the summertime, beautiful in the spring. It, it's an incredible release. And I also want to thank Annette Zuzio, who is our production manager. There was so much, so much people time and love that went into this release. To see it finally come out is a dream. Um, but Lee Morgan is really such an important voice in this music. And I feel like, um, you know, as time goes on, sometimes as it marches on, we sometimes, I don't know. I, I, I think that it, his music is <laughs> aged well. I, I don't, I, I, that could come out kind of strange, but as we go back and we listen to this music from live at the lighthouse, it's so clear they were just on this path, an amazing path, making great music, inspiring, reaching from within. I'm not just talking about Lee. I'm talking about all the guys that were in this group. They gave their all. They gave it all. And, and if you thought that three disc set was something else in 1996, get ready. The vinyl package, I want to say, we went analog all the way. We worked with Steve Jenowick at Capitol Studios. Uh, a year ago, and Steve was the, the late, great Al Schmidt's right hand, and I was really happy to have his sensibility and work with us. We took these original tapes, these four-track tapes, and we re were able to retransfer, remix, and, and then have this new analog source that Kevin Gray used when he cut the lacquers. Um, we went analog all the way on this. And it was, you know, it was a serious commitment to do that. The sound quality is incredible. I, I don't, you know, vinyl is amazing. You know what, if, if you've got to get a CD or you need to stream it, buy this new 
F, by the new effort that we made, I think there were vast improvements. I think that, um, I don't know, it just sounds great. It sounds glorious. And we kept in announcements. We kept in stage, a little bit of stage chatter, even, even people in the audience you can hear. You feel like you're front row at a table listening to this as it happens. And I think for being a fan of the music. It, it That's what be. I love about these live club records, because I'm never going to get to go back to these clubs that have been, you know, these dates that were decades ago, but to recreate them and live them in my living room with the drinks clinking and the people chatting and clapping. I, I love that stuff. You know, if I could be in a jazz club every night, I would, but I got to have my records transport me there. So that's, that's fantastic. And, and Lee Morgan's popularity, it seems like he's more popular now than he was back then because Blue Note has done such a great job of curating and releasing his stuff. The young fans that I know who are just getting into jazz, they're talking Lee Morgan nonstop and he's put out so many great things and, and then his life ended really tragically only a couple of years after this record was recorded. Not that I want to go too negative, but I can't wait for, I, I can't wait to hear everyone's response. We worked, the entire team worked so hard on this. It was just um, so much love went into this release. Yeah. And that's her. coming out this month or it's July 30th. July, July 30th. 30th worldwide. So thank you very much, Zeb. I'm going to hit the end button. Okay. Thanks for having me, Greg. It's so great to be be here with you. And I just want to thank everyone again for all their support. Yeah. Can't do it without all of you. Jeff McMillan is the author of the Lee Morgan biography called Delightfully, The Life and Music of Lee Morgan. And he's also the package editor for this massive, complete Live at the White House box set. Jeff was an invaluable resource in putting this package together, and I consider him to be one of the premier Lee Morgan scholars. It was a real treat working with him on this production. We have an incredible assortment of voices in this package talking about their love and respect for Lee Morgan and this music, including Benny Maupin and Jimmy Merritt, who of course were in the band on these recordings. We also have trumpeters Eddie Henderson, Charles Tolliver, Nicholas Payton, Wallace Rooney, Dave Douglas, Jamie Branch, Jimmy Owens, and Ira Sullivan. We were so fortunate to capture Jimmy Merritt, Wallace Rooney, and Ira Sullivan before they passed away last year. Year. 